Was that you? Don't give me those guilty eyes. <laughs> Wow, it is 55 degrees. Wow. Happy Wednesday to you guys. We Happy are on. Whoop, whoop. Say it again. Happy hump day. Whoop, whoop. We're on our little walk at Jackson. Um, we're hoping he poops because he didn't poop this morning. So that'd be good because we're going to leave him upstairs with my mom. And uh, yeah, we just we would rather just leave him without her having to walk him until we get back and just make things a little easier. So, But he's tugging right now. And thanks for the weight loss advice, Susan. I read the comments. <laughs> Definitely take it into consideration. Yep. She has a point, right? Jackson, look at you getting all happy I think there is and a running. Pigeon. Yeah, I know. He hears like a, you're right, like a pigeon or something. Some type of bird. He hears and he's going crazy. <gasps> Yay! Who's the one poop? I guess I'll be the pooper scooper today. I did say it was gorgeous out. Look at these trees budding already. How nice is that? Beautiful. So beautiful. OMG, guys. This food is so good. Janino's Pizza, where we live. Well, about 20 minutes from where we live. And their fried calamari is perfectly cooked. And so is this pizza. Look at this. The crust is nice and crunchy. And um, it's nice and thin, and the flavor is so good. Jill is getting very courageous over here. She just said something and I almost fell out of the booth. Um, <laughs> she said she's gonna try taking. She said it's not worth. Thank you. She said it's not worth taking her um, her pills with enzymes uh, with her enzymes with applesauce. So no, no. So she um, she's about to take it with her salsa. I'll show you. Here we go. Hopefully I don't choke. Are you gonna do this with the straw? Are you gonna do it with the. Um... No, the straw is the best because it goes. You shove, like, it goes right down with the straw. There you go. Ta da! Let me see, let me see. Oh man, not. Oh, it's stuck. It's like stuck over here. Yeah. Yeah, now what I'll do is I'll use these other two to push the other one all down together. Hey guys. That pizza and calamari was delicious. Oh my gosh, so good. We just stopped home to drop um, the pizza off that we had leftovers in the fridge, and then we're gonna head to ShopRite and get a few things that we could use. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on. You also got Rosario's car, because we were not far from where his bus base is at work. So his car was parked over there. Um, so we grabbed his car quick and then we drove back. How um, much took about like 25 minutes? It was a little traffic, so not too bad. Um, we're gonna just go to the store and see you guys a little bit. Maybe we'll show you our grocery haul. I don't know. Guys, it's almost bedtime. And um, see Jaxie over here getting a head start on the bedtime. And Jill's having a plate full of eggs. There it is. Dinner nice time. Fluffy eggs. And she literally had probably um, a third of it already, so it was a full plate of eggs, which is good. Mm, Three Gotta jumbo get that eggs. fat in for the tricafta. There you go. Thank you, honey. You're a great chef. Oh, thanks. You cooked them for me. Thank you. <laughs> guys, I am going to bed, and so is my other two guys, Jackson and my hubby, of course. But um, Rosario got into a little scuffle. Um, a few minutes ago, so here you have it. Yeah, I guess if you want to call it that. Um, so I was walking little guy over here, about 12.30ish. Figured I'd get him um, to have his last walk before the night, so that this way he can do his business, handle his stuff, right? You handled your stuff? And uh, there's some weird guy walking where me and him usually walk, a little narrow, narrow uh, sidewalk, and um, yeah, he's like taunting him, doing like like growling sounds, like rrr, 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 like to Jackson. 
And so naturally Jackson was curious and, you know, wants to see who's making the sound. So he's heading towards the guy and uh, past the guy and he starts saying, oh, get your effing dog away from me, blah, 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 whatever. And so at that point, I'm tired. I'm on a diet. I'm calorie uh, deprived. Don't mess with me. And uh, <laughs> let's just say I had some choice words to say to him too, literally at the top of my lungs. And uh, yeah, he was kind of uh, caught off guard, the guy, because I don't think he was expecting that reaction from me. And um, yeah, I don't like being that guy, that type of guy. But don't tell me where I can walk my dog. Basically telling me, oh, like get out of here, basically. You're walking into my neighborhood telling me to take my dog and walk somewhere else like uh nope not today <laughs> not but anyways today. <laughs> if anything i'll elaborate tomorrow we're gonna head to bed and uh we'll see you tomorrow good night guys good night guys see you tomorrow bye hey guys good morning it is thursday so happy thursday to you guys this morning i woke up again coughing up blood and some pure blood so um we're going to continue to take the vitamin K, hold off of therapies for today. And then I just actually texted my doctor and uh, brought up Rosario's idea. Rosario said, well, maybe now that you're on Trikatha, there's not much mucus in there. Therefore, it has nothing to shake up. And the blood vessels that were kind of weak are kind of bleeding. And he may be right. Because I know in the morning I have a little mucus, but then at night there's nothing. It's like I'm just doing the therapy to do it, you know. <clears throat> My doctor said we can go to one therapy a day. However, um, she wanted me to be in the best lung shape before trachea, so she said let's stay on two. But um, Rosario's idea has like sparked a few other ideas, and so now my doctor said, you know what, Rosario may be right. Let's, um, after the bleeding stops, then let's go to one therapy per day and see how you do, see how you feel, if there's any bleeding, and what. So. And of course, they'll take the trichafta and the vitamin K as needed until we um, see the bleeding, I guess, stop or whatever. If you guys been around a while, you guys will know I have been on vitamin K for like the last three years. Um, I used to take it every day, twice a day. And then um, when the bleeding got a little bit better after the embolization where they went in and closed up the spots in my lungs that were bleeding... Um, then we went to um, 10 milligrams of vitamin K three times per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. But right now we're doing five milligrams um, per day for now and see how that goes. And also, if you guys don't know, vitamin K is super expensive and not covered by insurance. It's about, so the one that I get is about $3,500 per 60 pills. So if you're taking it all month long, it's 3,500 every month, which was our situation last year until I went on Trikafta. It's very, very expensive. Um, and coverage, they won't cover it. You know, your health insurance doesn't cover it. Years ago, they used to cover it, and now they just don't cover it any longer. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we're going to do um, and take it from here. Homopsis has always been a big issue of mine. As I said, years ago, we did the embolization a couple of years back to try and stop the bleeding. And then we also did, um, I went on TXA tranexamic acid. And that is like for people who have been like in trauma, like accidents and they're bleeding heavily. And so they use that on them. But once in a while it is used in CF to try and clot the lungs. And so after being on it, a couple of years ago for about a month, I wound up getting three blood clots, one on my port and two in my lungs. So that's a no-no for us anymore. We won't touch that drug. So we're just doing the vitamin K. It is um, it is a blood clotter, vitamin K, but it's not uh, like the TXA, nothing like that. It um, clots in a different way than the tranexamic acid did. So we've still been using it. It's safe to use for me, thank God. And, uh, you know, we'll take it from there. What'd you do, Jackson? What'd you do to Ottoman? Yo, what did you do? Did you do this?
Was that you? Don't give me those guilty eyes. It was you, Jackson. We know it was you. We don't eat the furniture. Mommy wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. It had to be you. What do you have to say for yourself? Mm-hmm. And yesterday you mm -hmm. pooped on the ottoman, too. Oh, yeah. How about that? On Grandma's ottoman. Two days in a row. What's going on, buddy? Oh, you're guilty. I know it. I just see it in that face. I'm gonna have to do a mug shot on you. Good afternoon, guys. I am enjoying this iced tea we bought yesterday. It's pure leaf mango hibiscus, and it's caffeine-free. However, there are still carbs in it. There's 26 carbs in the whole bottle, which is not bad. Normally, an iced tea like this would be like 50-something carbs. So, once in a while, a little bit is good. My sugar's on its way down, so I figured I'd enjoy a little bit now. This is the perfect time. But we're going to take little man for a walk. You guys saw what he did eating our ottoman. Oh, and we thought he was like so good. He's still a good dog, but um, he's getting a little mischievous. So I will include the picture from yesterday of what he did on Tuesday night to my mother's ottoman. You guys will enjoy that one. Um, and that ottoman is actually kept in the extra bedroom upstairs. So my mother doesn't go in there too, too much. But um, Jackson likes to visit it, I guess. So you'll see what he did. I'll include it right after this. And hope you guys get a laugh. I started laughing because there was nothing else to do. But um, we just have to really, really keep our eyes on him. Jax. Jackson. Jackson. You having so much fun? Yeah, so much. Yeah, I know. You having a good time? Yes. I'm so happy that we're all out here walking. He's being a good boy right now, but I don't know about later. Whoa, baby boy. No, no, sure. Guys, check out this pizza. Hi, little guy, you like it? Rosario just dropped off two of these. Um, a friend of ours is an, is an amazing pizza maker for years. And uh, now he has a pizza truck that he, um, Makes all the pizza in Manhattan, but he lives um, not too far from us. So he dropped Rosario off two pies while he was at work. He knows, like, with me not feeling great with my kidneys and everything, that sometimes it's hard to get to Manhattan. So he just wanted to drop us some pizza off, which was so, so nice. So I know, Frank, you don't probably don't know about our vlogs or watch them, but in case you come across it, thank you for the pizza. It's delicious. And, um, yeah. The other pie is up there, so we'll be saving it and enjoying it. And, um, yeah, I think we showed you guys in the past his other place called Prince Street Pizza years ago because we used to go there a lot, excuse me, when we were in Manhattan. And, um, yeah, so he's now doing a pizza truck. He sold that over, and it is delicious. So we're going to enjoy some pizza. I think Jackson wants another piece of crust, but... I don't know, Jackson's getting a lot of snacks tonight. He had a tiny little piece of steak, a carrot, um, and a little pizza crust. So, lucky him. I am going to get to bed. The boys are already sleeping. Jackson's all curled up on the couch, and Rosario's sound asleep in bed. So, um, I'm going to say goodnight to you guys. And thank you for watching, and thank you for joining us. And uh, we will see you sometime tomorrow. Have a great night.